Welcome back to Thomas Turner Fishing Antiques. Got some great gadgets today um, to show you. Now obviously when you go fishing you need things to carry things in and things. And this is what we've got a collection of here. Um, these are all tagged up so most of them are either on the website or going on to the website. If we look at the oldest piece we've got here. Uh, this is an old friend of mine. This is a pot-bellied leather creel. I actually owned this about 30 years ago. And when I look back at some of the photographs, I realised in the corner of my room in the tackle room, this little creel was sitting there. These are lovely. Um, for 300 year old, it's, it's in remarkable condition. A very hard leather that's bent over a wooden former and steamed into shape. Uh, it's, it's, it's just great. It's got its belt slot at the back here. It's got handmade little brass hinges on the front. And more importantly, it still has its original hasp. Uh, inside, they can either be painted or unpainted as this one is with a brass banding around the lid. Little rivet part missing there. Remarkable condition, they're rare, rare, rare things, but considering the 300 years have passed by, the condition's just amazing. Absolutely love it. Very tactile thing, and you will see very few of them and probably be unlucky enough to never collect one privately. When you see them at auction, they're well, well chased. Um, this is on the website at the moment. So if you go into the search box and punch in leather creel, this one will come up. Um, on the something different, uh, there's a selection here of live bait carrying kettles. So if you're going perch fishing or zander or pike fishing, whatever, and you want to take your little live bait with you, which is generally frowned upon now, but uh, turn of the century and plus or minus 50 years, it was the done thing. So we have a variation of what's called bait kettles. Um, in the UK and Europe, generally zinc, as these are. This has got a removable perforated liner. That's my chair squeaking, it's not me. A removable perforated liner on it. So when it's lifted out, the water drains, and therefore when you pop the lid over, you can easily access the fish inside. The water still remains in the bucket. They're not expensive. You'll generally collect them for under £50, but they're a great display piece. And if you're ever worried about changing the finish on it, um, sort of shoe polish and a brush and give it a bit of a, a buff, gives it a dull sort of sheen. This is a similar one, but much heavier. It's a solid zinc um, with a perforated hatch lid on it. A little bit earlier, this one is probably the turn of the century. Um, little raised studs underneath to raise it off the, off the deck. Nice piece. But the star of the show is this one here. Clink, which is copper. We very rarely see this um, shape. Um, it's probably European, there's no maker stamp on it. It's beautifully constructed again. It has twin folding handles with the Evernight handles on it and a little hinged lid. It's in remarkable condition again for its age. We would guess turn of the century to sort of 1920s. Beautiful condition. Um, and similar but slightly different. This is a waste fitting bait box. Mayflies, creepers, or anything similar. Simple hinged lid, possibly European, um, with a waist belt on it. This dates around the same sort of thing, late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, this is just about to be loaded in the website. Um, these are anywhere from 50 to sort of 150, 200 pounds for well decorated models. So this is somewhere in the middle. Um, and finally, as our old favourite, what used to be called the bait shoot. But the correct name for it is a sloop, S-L-O-O-P. And this little ring here hangs on your belt or on your lapel. You put the bait or creepers or maggots or worms or whatever you've got in front of there. The lid clips over a pin. It's ventilated so they stay alive. And all you do to get the bait out is you take it off. You shake it down so it goes in the cup. You lift the cup up and hey presto, your bait's inside. You finish with it, you close it, pop it on the lapel. Prices, auctioneer's favourite, 80 to 120 pounds for one of these. They come in a variety of finishes, sizes, uh, diameters and ages, and they were certainly available up until the 40s. But a good a good 1920s, 30s one from Alcox, again retails around that middle 100 bracket. So for not a lot of money, to, to a lot of money um, financially, uh, but super rare piece, You've got a good collection of very decorative pieces to hang around your man cave or your tackle room uh, and make it look very fishy. So pop in a website, they're all there. If you do have anything similar from the little bait sloops to the leather creels, drop us an email, give us a phone and let's talk buying some tackle. Cheers.